Welcome to my shop. My name is Guy. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Creality Ender 3 V3 KE. Now this printer has been out for a little while and I've had mine for a little while too. Uh, it's pretty standard for what you see in today's breed of budget printers and it's got a lot of stuff. Uh, first of all, the build volume on it is pretty standard. It's a 220 by 220 by 240 tall. It is a direct drive. It does have an electronic touch screen, which is really nice. This does come pre-installed with Clipper software, which I'll talk a little bit about more later. Um, for now, let's take a closer look at some of the other things that are on this printer. Now, this does not have the little wheels on the bottom to level the bed fully automatic. It does have a load cell right here and it will automatically set the Z offset too. So once you turn the machine on, which we'll take a look at in a second, um, it goes through everything automatically. You don't have to do anything to set this machine up other than you know your language and things like that. As I mentioned before, this is a direct drive unit. It's got two 4010 fans on each side for part cooling. And I'll take this off so we can take a closer look at what's inside there. Well, I've got the cowling off and I'm not going to disconnect the fans right now. This obviously does have a breakout board because of the ribbon cable. It uses their Sprite direct drive extruder. Now this is an all metal hot end uh, and it will heat up to 300 degrees. So it's fully capable of printing things like PETG and ABS. Now this does use a much longer nozzle. It's not a volcano, but it's pretty close. And it does use a ceramic heater core. So this heats up really super quick and probably less than a minute you get it up to temperature. I should also mention that the bed will get up to uh, 100 degrees Celsius. So again, you can print things like ABS on this. Now Crowley has also put linear rods on here for the Y and a linear rail for the X, so this is really smooth. It does use palm wheels on the back for the Z axis, and uh, we'll spin the machine around and show you the back real quick. Now this does have a single Z motor, and up top here, there's a belt to sync the raising and lowering, which is pretty nice. It's pretty standard you see on a lot of machines now. Uh, you do have a CR touch on the back here too. Uh, up on top of the machine here, it does have a filament runout sensor underneath the spool holder. Now this does come with Creality's own version of Clipper, which is a Creality OS. And it claims 500 millimeters per second and a standard speed of about 300 millimeters per second. And I agree with that. Actually, sometimes I run a little bit slower than that just because I want to get a little bit better print quality. And the acceleration on this is 8,000 millimeters per second squared, which is pretty fast. And it also comes shipped standard with a 0.4 millimeter brass nozzle. I'm going to choose this. This is a pre-sliced bench heat that came with the machine. It says it's 16 minutes. I set it to automatically calibrate and it's showing the different things here. And I'm just going to hit print. So the printing is all finished. And it took about 20 minutes, 16 minutes, 20 minutes, it's close enough. Let's take a look at this bench sheet. So that is a 20 minute bench sheet and uh, it's not too bad. There's some problems right here, right down here, but uh, the cooling did well on the bow. Back here looks good. Top looks decent. It's plenty strong, so I'd call this a success considering, uh, again, it's a 20-minute benchy on a sub-$300 machine. It's very impressive. Let's take a look at some of the other prints that I've done on this machine. Now, first up is a benchy that I sliced using the uh, Creality Print software that came with the machine, using its standard settings, and uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, not perfect, but it's pretty good. A little bit of banding here, but uh, the overhangs look good. There's no stringing. It uh, really did a good job on this. Now this is a milk crate that I did, and this is using uh, the same Creality Hyper PLA, but just a different color. And this is a real torture test. I don't know if you can see that string right there. 
it's really not that bad and get rid of it pretty easy. But the layers are nice and even. A really good first layer. All in all, I'm pretty happy with this. The bottom's nice and smooth. It's a good print. Now this is a jar with a lid that I printed. This is also on PLA. The tolerances are good. And we take a look at the layer lines on this. It's actually really, really good. There's a seam right there. There's a little bit of artifacts, but I mean, it's, it's so tiny. Again, I'm, I'm very, very happy with this print. Now this is just a cylinder I printed. This is in vase mode. I did this at 0.75 millimeters thickness and uh, it did really, really nice. It was printed in about 40 minutes, which was pretty fast. Good first layer. Not a lot of artifacts, no zits or anything. Now this is a big garbage can I printed. I did this in vase mode. I had a, a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. So I did in vase mode, it's a one millimeter thickness. Can't remember how long this took, but uh, came out very, very nice. I really want to test out to make sure everything was good as far as when it starts getting up in the higher uh, areas. There are some artifacts here and there, but uh, it's really, really nice. I'm really happy with this print. So that's the Corality Ender 3 V3 KE. Uh, another printer with a very long name, but it's got a very good price on it. It's got all the features you really want. The only thing I really wish it had feature-wise was a light. Uh, I'm going to be adding one of those later. There's a lot to like about this machine. I like the linear rails uh, for the X and the Y. It's a fairly quiet machine. The only thing that I really don't like that much is the linear rods. They're very noisy. I don't know if you can hear that. It's super crunchy when they move along, and it's not real stiff. I've gone through and tightened up just about everything I can on this machine, and I'm getting pretty good print quality out of it. As a first printer or a second printer in your house, maybe, it really works well. The software is really easy to use. The machine is really easy to use. This is becoming more and more like an appliance on this. So thanks so much, and uh, we'll see you next time.